I love using Creative Fabrica. I've used them for years and they're great for things like t-shirts and coffee mugs and all sorts of print-on-demand designs. But in this video, I'm going to be deep diving into the world of low content books. So on Creative Fabrica, I'm going to go up here to the top and I'm going to go under graphics. And under graphics, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see there is KDP interiors. This is for the Amazon KDP program. These are interiors for books. So these are essentially low content book templates. And you can see here, for example, I'm going to pick this KDP interior bundle pack. This is a huge bundle. And we can see there's a whole bunch of different coloring book pages in here. This is 753 coloring book pages. Now, I have the subscription to Creative Fabrica, so this is just free for me. In fact, anything on this site is free for me. I just simply click the download and I can use it. It's got commercial and full print-on-demand usage allowed. Basically, I can use it as is to make a coloring book. But if I didn't have the subscription, I could purchase this as well. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Now, this happens to be on sale for $6. There's a big Easter sale going on with Creative Fabrica right now. This is normally $60. It's 90% off. It's $6. So I could add this to the cart and I could purchase it. Or I could sign up for a free trial on Creative Fabrica and find out if I would like to have, a, say, everything for free trial. This is what it looks like when you've actually got the subscription. Everything is just included. So I could just click the download button and let's see what's inside this. And we can see here as I download, I've got about eight minutes left. It's a 1.5 gigabyte file. That's right, 1.5 gigabytes. It's absolutely massive. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's in here using the powers of video editing. You don't have to wait seven minutes for the download. I did want to point out if you're brand new to low content books, just go on to Amazon. I'm in Canada, so I'm on amazon.ca and I'm going to click in the search bar. I'm going to type in adult coloring book. And then you can see there's a whole bunch of options here. You'll see like, for example, adult coloring books for women dirty. There's lots of like rude stuff. This is actually a like a cool thing on Amazon because you can make dirty, naughty designs that you wouldn't normally find in Walmart or Target. Um, so you're going to see some swearing here. I apologize in advance. Uh, but you'll see here for adult coloring books, there's anxiety therapy adult coloring book. I'm going to click on this one. And we can see here there's a, it's a great looking cover. And then on the back, we can see that it's basically blank pages. I'm just going to zoom in a tiny bit here. And you can color your way to a stress-free life. This is a book that's made through Amazon. People can buy it and then it gets shipped, printed and shipped by Amazon. It's pretty cool. You can see there's 119 ratings. So it's actually got like, people have actually like bought this book. So here I'm just going to click on the photos. This is a verified purchase. You can actually see inside the book. So I would recommend you do this. I would recommend you actually go onto Amazon and you actually see what people are purchasing and what their reviews are. Sometimes the reviews are negative and they're saying, hey, I wanted more. This book is kind of wimpy. And so you can really drill down and find out if there are things that you can make to compete in these niches. Adult coloring books is a very competitive niche, but if you have a really interesting take on it, you know, here's one, for example, in the forest color and frame, and it's got a little raccoon on it, stoner activity book. You know, there's all sorts of different niches, but there's lots of rude, adult, funny gift ideas for adults. And so I'd recommend that you check that out. I did want to point out as well, when you're downloading a pack like this, you want to make sure to double check what the sizes are here. So you can see there's eight and a half by 11 and eight and a half by eight and a half. These are inches. And so you would want to make sure when you're creating your Amazon book from scratch using Photoshop or Affinity Photo, for example, or any graphics design software, you want to make sure that you've got the sizes right. And you want to make sure it's consistent so that when you're uploading to Amazon KDP, you've got one book with a whole bunch of consistent sized pages. All right, I've downloaded my big zip file here. It's 1.5 gigabytes. Let's double click on it and see what's in here. And I've got 8.5 by 8.5. I'm going to pop open the 8.5 by 11. And we're going to see here's a whole bunch of folders. I'm just going to control A and that's going to select everything. I'm going to right click and copy. I'll go back into the regular file folder here and I'm going to click paste. And from here, we can see there's a whole bunch of different things. So I'm going to go into Unicorn, I've got PNG files, and I can see here's all the PNG files that I got. Again, I want to point out this would be five or six dollars on Creative Fabrica. It's regularly about sixty dollars. Because I have the subscription, it's completely free. I'm going to just pop this open and I'm going to just move it over here so you can see it. There is my coloring book picture and I can just kind of scroll through. We can see, aren't these wonderful? These are pretty awesome. Okay, so I've popped open Affinity Photo and that's just a graphics design software. You could use Photoshop, you can use anything. And I've created a template and it's eight and a half inches wide by 11 inches tall. And that's basically the size of my page for my low content book. I'm then gonna go File and Place. I'm gonna go into my Unicorn folder, my PNGs, 
and I'm going to pick one. Maybe I'll just pick the first one. Why not? I'm then going to place it right like that inside my book. Now you may, this is totally optional, you may want to make it a tiny bit smaller just so you've got a tiny bit of like a border around it. I'm just going to click on a new layer down here at the bottom, a new pixel layer. It's going to populate up right above it. I'm going to click on my fill tool and I'm going to click the fill button. And it's just going to fill it with some white. And I'm just going to drag my unicorn up above the pixels so I can see now I've got a bit of a border around it. This is personal preference. You don't have to do this at all. Uh, but I just like the way that looks. And what I really like is it makes it a tiny bit different than someone else who might be using the exact same design. Another option is you can just rotate it so it looks the exact opposite and that will make it a completely different image as well. It's not the same so you won't get any sort of copyright strike or duplication strike on Amazon KDP because I've got a little border. It's a different size. I've rotated it. I've satisfied the requirements to make it different. You can then save this. It's going to ask me what type of file to export it. I'm going to click a PDF. It's going to be 300 DPI and I'll click export. And I'm going to simply title it 01 and that's going to be the page number that I've got. I click save. It's going to save it as a PDF now. And there is my PDF file right there. I simply double click it. It's going to open up as a PDF file. I can see right now that looks really nice. And so there's page one of my coloring book. I could then create as many pages as I want, group them together and make my coloring book for Amazon KDP. I'm going to put a link to Creative Fabrica in the video description below. There's tons of fonts, there's tons of graphics, and they've got an Easter sale on. I'm going to put the link to that in the video description below as well. You can check it out. As we saw in this video, some of these graphics are up to 90% off. There's all sorts of different illustrations, backgrounds, Amazon KDP stuff. The list goes on and on and on. I absolutely love Creative Fabrica. You could spend hours, you could spend days on here making all sorts of print on demand products or low content book pages using the powers of Creative Fabrica. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand journey. I really hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching.